Example 6. Determine x, y and z intercept of the plane x, y, z equals to 4, 9 minus 3, s, 3, 4, 1 plus t minus 3, 0, minus 1. Okay. Now to find x, y, z intercept, it will be better if we write these equations in the form of parametric form, right? Then it will be kind of easier. So let's try to do that first. So we have x equals to 4. 3s minus 3t and we can write y equals to 9 plus 4s that's it and z equals to minus 3 plus s minus t okay so these are our parametric equations from the vector equation now, if you want to find x-intercept, right? So, for x-intercept, y and z should be 0, right? So, we want to find x-intercept. That means y equals to 0 and z equals to 0, correct? So, that is the condition for which we are working on. So, if y equals to 0, we can find the value of s. So, from here, we'll use equation second. So, we have 0 equals to 9 plus 4s, it means that s is equals to minus 9 over 4, correct? Now, for z equals to 0, we can find the value of t. We'll put the value of s here and find the value of t, right? So, z is 0. So, we say 0 equals to minus 3 and for s, I'm going to put minus 9 over 4, minus 9 over 4, minus t, right? So, t is equal to so we'll do this, 4 times 3 is 12, so minus 12 and minus 9 over 4, which is minus 21, so minus 9 and minus 12 is minus 21 over 4, right? So that's the value of t. Now if I plug in these values of s and t in my equation, I can find the x-intercept, right? So I'll do that and say x equals to 4 plus 3 times s is minus 9 over 4. So minus 9 over 4. And uh, for t, I'll put minus 3 times minus 21 over 4, correct? So that should give me the value of x. Let's calculate this, right? So, nothing really cancels out. 4 is in the denominator. We can take 4 as a common denominator for all and uh, multiply everything by 4 instead, right? So, this is 16 and this is minus 27, 9 times 3. And here it is minus and minus becomes plus, plus 63, right? So, that's the value and we can calculate this value now and find the x-intercept. So the x-intercept is 16 minus 27 plus 63, which is equal to 52 divided by 4, and we get 13. So we get x equals to 13, right? And therefore, we have an x-intercept here, and the value of x-intercept we can write here now. So we say x-intercept is... 13, right? So we can write this as 13, 0, 0, correct? Okay. Now let's try to find the y and z intercept, okay? So if you have to find the y intercept, in that case, x is equal to 0, right? And z equals to 0, correct? So we can put x equals to 0 and z equals to 0 find the value of s and t and then find the value of y. So let's do our calculations. So x equals to 0, that means 0 equals to 4 plus 3s minus 3t, right? And z equals to 0 means 0 equals to minus 3 plus s minus t, correct? 
that's it so we got two equations and two variables so we'll try to sort this out so what we can do is that we can multiply the second equation by 3 and if we do so then we get both s and t cancelled out let's try to do that if you multiply a second equation by 3 we get minus 9 plus 3s minus 3t correct so now if we take away one from the other then we get 0 equals 2 so 4 minus plus 9 becomes 13 and here we have 3s minus so what I'm trying to do is I'm using these two equations right and I'm doing let's say this equation is 1 this is 2 so I'm doing 1 minus 2 here right from those equations so my 3s 3s gets cancelled and 3t and I get 0 equals to 13 right which is not a solution so this is not a solution right so we get no solution right so we have no solution right and therefore we say y intercept we don't have right y intercept is none okay now let's calculate the z intercept that means we'll plug in x equals to 0 let's use a different pen x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 right if we do so x equals to 0 will give us the same equation which is 4 plus 3s minus 3t and y equals to 0 will give us 9 plus 4s and that gives s equals to minus 9 over 4 correct and we'll put minus 9 over 4 in the first equation and then calculate the value of t 4 plus 3 times minus 9 over 4 minus 3t correct so so we can bring 3t here and then find what and here we get 4 times 4 is 16 and 9 times 3 is minus 27 over 4 right which is 16 minus 27 is 9 minus is 11 minus right 11 so 27 minus 16 is 11 over 4 right so that gives us t as minus 11 over 12 so that's the value of t now we know s and we know t so we can find the z intercept so z is equal to for us z equals to minus 3 plus s that means minus 9 over 4 minus t that means plus 11 over 12 right now here we can take 12 as a common denominator multiply this by 12 we get minus 36 this gets multiplied by 3 minus 27 and plus 11 right so we can calculate this answer and we can get minus 36 we'll do plus 27 and we'll take away 11 equals to 52 so 52 divided by 12 is 4 1 over 3 so which is minus 4 times 3 12 we can write 4 1 over 3 or 4 times 3 13 over 3 whatever right let's write 13 over 3 so that is what we get as z intercept right so we can say now x y and z intercept is zero zero and minus thirteen over three okay so that is our solution okay it sometimes can be tedious and as you have seen uh, you it is not always possible to get all the intercepts right there may be one or two intercepts one or none intercept it all depends how the planes they are right so it is not necessary to get all the intercepts correct thank you